Across America, a woman has identified four of the seven people who were found shot to death in rural Oklahoma as her daughter and three grandchildren. The bodies of 14-year-old Ivy Webster and 16-year-old Brittany Brewer were also among the dead. A missing persons advisory was issued for them yesterday. The body of felon and registered sex offender Jesse McFadden, who police say the girls were traveling with, was also found. Police in Milwaukee are now looking into a crash between a stolen Kia and this school bus outside of a middle school, all caught on camera. Video shows the car being driven recklessly with some kids hanging out of the windows before it hit the bus. A 15-year-old in the car was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries, and an 11-year-old boy on the bus was also hospitalized. Police are now looking for the others who were in the car when the crash happened. Today, Vermont became the first state in the country to allow terminally ill people from out of state to take advantage of its medically assisted suicide law. The state's governor signed a bill today that removes a residency requirement. Vermont is one of 10 states that allow medically assisted suicide. Critics of the change say a residency requirement keeps those states from being overwhelmed by a number of people looking to end their lives. Three lawsuits have now been filed in the wake of that deadly New York City parking garage collapse less than two weeks ago, including one that asks for $100 million. That's from a class action suit by two car owners who lost their vehicles but were not injured. The April 18th collapse killed the garage manager and left five others injured. A Washington state man made an unusual discovery when walking through a local forest. He came across an unattended bear cub that was pinned underneath a fallen limb. The rescuer says he left the cub there a day or so to see if the mom came back, but she never did. So he took the cub to wildlife rehabilitators who will determine if he can eventually be released back mm. into the wild. Ever dream of owning your own plane? You can make it happen thanks to a Minnesota Aviation Museum. Wings of the North is a facility that is home to a collection of World War II era planes and they're trying to raise money for a new permanent home. So for a $50 ticket, you are entered for a chance to win a 1948 Beechcraft Bonanza 35 or take home the $35,000 cash option. The drawing will be in September and eligibility rules are posted on their website.